All right, uh, good to, what, what day are we? We're Wednesday. Traveling will do that to you. Over here on the East Coast, coming from the West Coast, uh, watching the, uh, just doing a quick review of the market today. I was in meetings all day today, and it will be tomorrow. Spoo sold off hard. I was watching them all day on my BlackBerry. It was a pretty slow sell-off in the morning, and then we sold off some more, and then we just continued to go down. Um, tomorrow, uh, interesting point right now in the markets. Tomorrow, are we going to go down and flush them to a new low? Uh, we did tick down on the S&Ps today to about 872, which was above the last Thursday's low, and it was above also the Friday be before's low. So uh, we've made three successive uh, higher lows right now. We also uh, have made two lower highs. So we're either, we either need to bounce here, go to another lower high, say around 960, 70, and then go lower, or we're going to bust out higher finally. Maybe the bottom's been put in. But we're forming a very nice triangle pattern. If you look on a 60-minute chart, uh, it's forming very nicely. Uh, the Dow Jones, again, is trading down uh, 8,500. And uh, we were as low as, again, on this move, 78.84 was our low of this move. So we're, uh, again, we didn't make a new low here today. We'll see where tomorrow brings us, but we're at a very treacherous moment. Again, I wouldn't be stepping in front of this train on the long, or really the short side, unless I'm day trading right now. Uh, there's just too much risk associated in this market. The volatility is way too large, and, and if you're involved in this market on a daily basis, I would try to go home pretty flat every night because uh, this is going to continue, and the, vol the moves are so great. The vols are so great that you can kind of uh, step in and out of this market and kind of uh, play with the direction. And the, uh, as long as you get the direction right, have some pretty uh, nice moves. IBM trading $83 today, down another five. Uh, you're starting to see some real large puking on some of the large names. Goldman Sachs still trading around 115. Uh, you had MasterCard down another eight today. You had Google down another seven. So we're 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 again getting to a point where. Um, we are making some new lows. Uh, again, Google may, or Google, IBM made a new low today. Google has come off. Uh, you know, we hit a we hit around 390 after their earnings. Now it's up to uh, 355. So uh, that is uh, coming back down. The banks were weak, uh, not early, but at the end of the day, again, not making new lows. They did make. Uh, however, the BKX did make new uh, stretch beyond the uh, last Thursday's lows, so didn't close there, but uh, the banks are looking weak again. If they roll back over here, they should uh, test that 46 area. They closed at about 54. Uh, home builders smashed. Uh, again, people are not buying homes. This is not going to come back tomorrow. Um, you, you look at some of the homies today. Uh, I'm actually looking at the XHB. Kind of surprised it was actually green for the day, uh, but I was looking at Pulte. Pulte is down significantly. You had uh, Toll Brothers. Excuse me. Uh, XHB was not down. I, I misspoke there. It was down. It, it was or rather it was down all day. But uh, 1295 was a recent low there last Thursday again, and we're at 1360 on the close. So we'll see where we go on the homies, but uh, we're trying to put in a bottom. Might be 100 points lower on the S&P. Might be, uh, you know, maybe we're putting it in today. I'm not sure. Morgan Stanley trading at 1933. Again, just picking out some of these banks. Uh, again, that traded as low as 61, so that doesn't appear to me to be going back there. Amazon had some terrible numbers after hours and was trading down to about 42s, 42.5, and may actually even reach down to 41.07. So uh, if you're long, uh, again, I, I have no idea why you'd want to be long retail, you know, more than an oversold rally. Uh, people were, I heard a lot of people were buying Amazon looking for good things. I think, think they got sucked in by the Google numbers, although Google has nothing to do with Amazon. So, um, there's really no relation to me there. Uh, people are pulling back. I'm seeing it in the streets. I'm seeing it everywhere. Saw it on the West Coast. I'm seeing it on the East Coast. You see it in the in the eyes. I ask uh, I ask servers at restaurants, "Hey, you guys busy?" No, you know the, the, they're like, oh, you know, it's it's slow. I mean, the travel has slowed down for business. You're seeing it across the board. You got CNBC on. I'm back here at the uh, hotel tonight. Uh, basically, the uh, the CNBC uh, octagon. Plunge protection team. They're out here trying to tell us everything's fine. Got the cheerleader outfits on. 
I mean, why do we have to have these guys on every day? Let's just let this market do what it's going to do. Intervention or no intervention, it's going to do it. I keep going back to the same thing, and it gets to be a little old. Tomorrow, again, I'm not going to be uh, trading this market. Uh, I wish you well. I would. Um, I think you're going to have uh, a lot of uh, volatility once again. Uh, the VIX is, is pe peaking back up. I think today we were back up above 60, not getting to new highs again, which, uh, again, there are some divergences out there in this marketplace that you may be able to catch a nice uh, reversal trade tomorrow if they're able to wash them out. Now, uh, I really don't understand. Uh, the, the SPOOs were trading down to about 872 as I watched them, and then in the last 10 minutes they rammed them all the way up to about 910. So. Uh, very strange market indeed. Uh, again, you look at a 60-minute, we're making higher lows, lower highs, so we're kind of pinching into the zone right now. We did trade down to 872 and are now, again, trading around 909 as uh, I put this to rest. So have a good night. Trade well. Again, oil trading down to 66 is here. The QM contract 67.55 as I uh, put this uh, video to bed. And um, again, traded as low as 66.17. Again, I said oil 50, 400, and uh, we're definitely going there. Uh, we're going there fast and hard, and uh, you better be ready for it. Oil uh, complex is over, and uh, we have seen the highs for the year and probably for some number of years. So have a good evening. Uh, be safe out there, and we'll talk soon.